Level three. So these are some of the things that it took me a while to really set up on LinkedIn. Um, because at first, like I was getting enough attention on my profile without adding these in. But I realized, you know what, I'm, I want to add them in anyway, just so that my profile is richer when someone takes a look at it. And um, it makes it easier also for people to find like mutual connections and things for, for us to talk about whenever whenever they connect with me. So one of the things that you can do is add an about statement. So you can summarize your experiences and indicate what people can connect with you for or what you're looking for um, by adding an about statement. So mine currently, well, is basically the intro that was read to you guys a while ago. Um, just summarizing all of my experiences before they decide to scroll down because after the header, the header part of your LinkedIn profile comes this about statement already. So this is basically the summary of your profile. And then I just added in like what they can connect with me for. So for my, in my case, people can connect with me for partnership opportunities or consultations. Um, and then I, I leave my contact details there. So for example, if you're looking for internship opportunities, you can also put in there that you're looking for, let's say, project management internship opportunities. Maybe if you want to specify the industry as well, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but that's just some one way to to add a bit more information on your, your profile that if someone decides not to scroll down and read the whole thing, at least they can skim that and know a little bit more about you. Another thing you can add are like featured. So it's called featured. And this is where you can add links to your portfolio or your output. So if, for example, you have an online portfolio or if you have a website that you want people to, or you have a blog, let's say, that you want people to, to go through, you can add that on the featured. Especially if that blog, let's say, is professional and you share your professional thoughts there or your portfolio, for example, or work samples. Um, that's something that you can add there. You can feature any significant articles. If you were mentioned in an article, that's good. Um, some projects, for example, that you want to feature, that's something you headed or created on your own. You can also feature it there. In my case, I have featured um, some of the activities that I've had where I've mentored for some programs, um, a competition where I judged, uh, a webinar where I was featured. So those are some of the things that I put on my featured part just so that they know that, hey, you, they can connect with me if you, they want to invite me as a mentor or if they want to invite me as a speaker. So those are, at least for, for my case, that's really what I wanted my profile to be for. So in your case, if you want to get hired, um, maybe feature some work samples here if you want. Um, or maybe let's say you won an award and you were featured in an article, you might also want to wanna put that as well. Um, and then you can add even your own description of that. So you can say featured in, let's say, Philippine Star as one of the top blah, 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 blah. You can put that in your profile. Um, so that's an interesting part of it. Another thing, it took me years um, <laughs> for me to be on LinkedIn before I actually started asking for recommendations from people. So you can ask former supervisors, colleagues, any direct reports you might have to leave a recommendation for you but just don't ask for too many so as a fresh dad probably one or two is fine don't put too many um, because you also don't want this to distract from your actual experience and some uh, some recommendations might not be as super value adding um, so just make sure that you really pick the people that you ask recommendations that you ask uh, recommendations from so in my case, I've asked recommendations from people I've worked with, people I reported to, and people who reported to me. I didn't want to ask for a lot because if I if I put down if I put down too many, magiging too long didn't read yet, and then no one's gonna read it anymore. So just um, as a fresh grad, probably one or two is fine. Um, don't put don't try to put too many. Next, accomplishments. So there are actually a lot of different types of accomplishments that you can add on LinkedIn. But I'm warning you now to not go overboard with these because they don't really, me as a recruiter, they didn't make a lot of difference for me when I was browsing through um, candidates' profiles because it, at the end of the day, the experience still mattered more. Um, so probably don't go overboard. Just really think of which, one, which courses, projects, publications, causes, are significant or relevant to your target function or industry. 
But if you have, let's say, languages, especially if it's not Filipino or English, um, or if you have test scores, um, like for example, if you're planning to go um, do an MBA and you've already taken the GMAT, you might want to feature that. Or any specific honors and awards, add that in. Otherwise, um, again, stick to what's relevant and significant to your target function or industry. Do not go overboard. So for example, in my case, I've only put in two honors and awards, basically um, something that uh, I won when I was um, in one from when I was in high school and one from when I was in college. But that's pretty much it because I know not a lot of people are able to put that on their pro- profile. Um, yeah, and then just some organizations that I was part of. Just as a conversation starter and just in case that the recruiter knows someone from the organization that they came from, at least it's a conversation starter as well. But again, it's not going to make huge, huge difference. So that's why I put it in in level three if you just, you're just you a completionist and you want to complete your profile. So last level of setting up your profile, again, I don't recommend everyone to do this if you don't have the bandwidth for it or or if you feel like there's not a lot of things to be featured anyway, then don't force it. Uh, but here are some of the things that you can add pa if you want to complete your profile. Just hear about some featured items, their recommendations, and accomplishments. Mm-hmm.